I'm Jason Hoffman. My goal is to help you have the confidence to just press go live. The importance of having a quality church stream is the difference between having an engaged at-home audience and having an at-home audience that ignores the notifications that you've gone live. My church stream for 2023 is a great mixture of what I used to do, the old, and what I hope to do, the new. If you've watched my church streaming setups before, you know that I've traditionally run a three Mevo church stream setup. I had a Mevo camera suspended from the center there, about 10 feet this side of the pulpit, and I had one on each side in that light tray just behind the very front arch pillar. This year, I'm going to be running one of those Mevo cameras still on this side for a side shot, but I'm going to be running my Zowie Tech PTZ NDI camera right here at the back of this auditorium. It's going to give me my main shot. The Mevo on my side view will give me an, a great alternative shot, and it's also going to give me sound into my stream from my soundboard, a mixed set that's unique to the stream. So let's walk through the pieces of the setup for my church for 2023. I will still be using ProPresenter 7 for my live streaming portion that goes out to my at-home audience. ProPresenter 7 is what we use in-house for our media, and since they added the streaming ability in version 7 of ProPresenter, it's something that is folded seamlessly into this person's responsibility who stands here at the media booth. We'll be running a two camera setup. I have my Zowie PTZ camera here mounted at the back. That's an upside down mount. I'm connected via POE. It's running NDI wired into my router. And I have a PTZ joystick controller also run to the RS-485 connector on the back of this little camera. It's a 20X zoom. It does great in low light and it gives me several different preset shots that I can choose either from my joystick controller here or through software, NDI Tools software here on the computer. So I have great options for catching whichever view I want to catch here at the back of the church. My other camera giving me my other view is mounted here in front of this pillar, kind of out of the way. There's where I was in the sound booth and I'm running it with both power. I didn't spring for the POE from Mevo. I'm using this to bring power in through my USB-C port. And then I'm running sound into the back of the Mevo through the three and a half millimeter jack. And that's simply running through this light tray all the way back to my sound system. It's XLR cords up until this point, and then I have an XLR to three and a half millimeter adapter here. So that's tucked out of the way, gives me the shot that I want for the platform here, and gives me great sound, mixed sound, into my live stream. The adapter I use on the Mevo camera up there at the front for that side view is XLR to three and a half millimeter. It looks like it's probably three or four or five feet long. I don't know, I uncoiled, I don't remember how long this actually is. And so I'm just using XLR cables from the soundboard here all the way in that direction until the end where I plug this in. They work great. I have several of these. If you need one, I don't mind sending you one for a few dollars. Um, you can reach out to me through my store link if you want to. They're not listed as an item for sale there, but I have several. If there's a church in need of these, it won't cost you much to get it sent over to you. Running a shot from the back with my Zowie Tech PTZ camera is going to give me several different presets. Now, I can use the remote that came with the camera, and I can change that to whichever preset I want. So you can see me cycling through some of the presets that I have here. Or I have my joystick here that's wired in through my RS-485. Now it's a little bit clunkier on this joystick because I have to hit call and the number and enter to change what that view is. But then I have very fine control with the joystick if I want to use it as such. NDI Tools video monitor for the Mac is going to be one of the ways I can 
look at my stream view if I want to if I want to preset everything very specifically. So I can go into into video monitor. I can choose which camera I'm looking at, and now I have a full size as big as I want it view of that camera's feed. I can change my camera view according to the ways that I've mentioned with my PTZ joystick or with the, the uh, remote that came with the camera, or I can go into PTZ control in the settings menu, and it gives me this little box that does the same thing. I, ha I can preset these for all my different settings, and then I have fine-tuned control also through software if that's the way I want to handle it so that the need to to mount it in a specific way so that the infrared remote can catch what's going on there or the need for a PTZ controller which is an added expense those are not necessary I can run all this through software if I so choose in ProPresenter 7, we're running RTMP. I've simply plugged in my YouTube, my church's YouTube RTMP, a stream key and URL, so that I have a, a, a clean and easy, consistent way to go live. Pressing go live here is a simple matter of, in the right, top right hand corner, if I can find my mouse, hitting live and start capture. After the first time, after the initial setup, which I've done in a previous video, after that, everything is really very straightforward. The person who mans this particular booth, all they have to do is go is start capture and then choose the camera view they want between the uh, two options that they have and all the different presets they have on the PTZ cam here at the back. The sound, though, is run completely from my soundboard. So I have this PreSonus Studio Live 32SX, which, which gives me complete control over my stream sound. So if I go over here to the left and I choose one of my mixes, these are my preset mixes. If I choose mix eight, you can see that I have stream sound here and I have the ability to mix whatever is going out over the stream. I can then, pl I can then put my headphones on and check before it goes out. I can turn on the stream on another device and check after it goes out too, but I have the ability to mix everything through my soundboard that goes out live over my, li over my live stream. I think that's a great piece of the puzzle for having a quality church stream that folks will engage with, that they won't ignore that notification when it begins to go live. So having my camera set right, having my sound set right, and then just Pressing go live is going to give me an engaged audience that might have to watch from at home.